Just lift your hands up once more. Thank you for the grace. Just thank you for the grace to be here. For the grace to pray in the name of Jesus. Just thank him. Just thank him in the name of Jesus. It's our season of prayer. All we can do is to pray them all. To pray them all. We can pray them all. We can pray them all. We can call upon his name the more in the name of Jesus. Marabahasko Fetali Bahando Ziaba Makataba. Open your heart and open your spirit. Express your love to Jesus. Express your love to his majesty. Balebosha. Mande Badagana Nana Nana Nena Bade Badabosha. Makada Baga Bagada Bagada Bagada. Ekanda Basaka Pata Bagadanaba. Ikapata yada mana baga dena ba Itale mana dege ba hendo baga If you can lift your hands and open your mouth Continue to bless him Iso bali roshane manda gada Telim na kupe na wana yesu Ase mande baga na 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 Ase la bala da 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 Iya da na 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 Ase pato bala de baga tela di Ase balande ba kusha kataya Ia la 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 ba so balanda gada Are there intercessors here? Are there people that came to pray? Ase belande lande ka Iso belande ka ma na 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 Ia la 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 ba sha Ia la 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 ba kam na ka Ia la 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 ba sha Ia ne na ne na ne na ne na ne Ase ba ne ma kata In the name of Jesus Now lift your hands and tell them Father, we love you. Tell him we love you. Shade magadu, makado dosha, jele maga bagadu. Na wana mungu angu, nina kupenda. Wana mungu angu, nina kupenda. Umefa.
to all my own borders and cross. Let's appreciate Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's, let's appreciate him in a better way. You celebrate the King of Kings. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. There's no backup. Glory to God. Greet your neighbor and tell them you will be blessed for coming. Let's appreciate the praise and worship. Glory to Jesus. Amen. I say glory to Jesus. Amen. Amen and amen. What a beautiful evening to be found in the presence of God. Glory to God. Amen. Shall we pray together? Our Father, we are so grateful this evening for you are in our midst. We want to thank you that you are here. We thank you that you are here to do us well. We thank you that our lives will be impacted. We thank you that our lives will not remain the same again. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, I pray that you may open our hearing ears, our seeing eyes, that we may see the mysteries in your word and that we may hear with the clarity from thy throne. I pray that this atmosphere be saturated with the power of God, even them that are watching online, I pray that in the name of Jesus, their lives will not be the same again. Lord, minister to everyone. Reach unto every soul. Reach unto every need. Impact everyone that has come. And let their lives not be the same again. We thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' name we give thanks. Amen. Let's appreciate the Lord. Amen. Lord of Jesus. Amen. Allow me to invite us to the word of God in the book of Genesis chapter 4. And we're going to read verse number 4. On the interests of time. Genesis chapter 4, verse number 4. Are you there? Once you are there, you let me know. Are you sure? Genesis chapter 4 and verse number 4. says Abel also the brought of the firstborn of his flock and of their fat and, and the Lord respected Abel and his offering. Let's read again. Abel also brought of the firstborn of his flock and of their fat and the Lord respected Abel and his offering. Glory to God. Amen. And the Lord respected Abel and 
this offering. May the Lord bless his word. Amen. You may have your seat in his holy presence.
Tell your neighbor, not every giving is accepted. Not every giving is accepted. Did you hear what I said? Mm -hmm. Not every giving is accepted. Say that again. Not every giving is accepted. Can I hear you once again? Not every giving is Can accepted. you raise your voice? Not every giving is accepted. So it means that it is possible to lose in your giving. And I will show you why it's possible that you can lose as you give. And many have lost in their givings. And the scriptures above there, we see the first man to ever sacrifice to God is sacrifice was rejected. Are we together? Mm -hmm. Now, the verse we've read is verse number four. The Bible says, let's read again, because I'm, I want to observe time. Let's read again. Abel also brought of the first now, of his flock. Abel also, that word also means there is somebody else who has been there before. Mm -hmm. Abel did what? He is, or he is coming after someone else. So the Bible says Abel also. So somebody has already done it. So this, what do you learn from that? Never give in imitation. Mm -hmm. But give out of revelation. Amen. I thought I had a congregation. Amen. I say never imitate anybody's giving. Mm -hmm. Always give out of revelation, understanding, and insight. Amen. Another caution. Never give out of coercion. Oppression. Mm -hmm. Because those are avenues of losing your sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Are we together? Yes. Never give out of coercion, out of pressure, out of competition. Because you've seen somebody else do it, you just do it. One of the things you note about these two boys is that each came with an independent mind. Mm -hmm. Are we together? Oh, yes. So when it is time to give, when it is time to worship the Lord with your sacrifice, don't do what your neighbor is doing. Neither you do what you saw your parents doing. Because many people in the church today, you are bound by the mindset and the attitude that you saw your parents with when it came to giving. Mm -hmm. Tell your neighbor, I just saw you got delivered. Mm -hmm. Oh, come Deliver. on. Hit your neighbor, bitch. Tell your neighbor, I just saw you get delivered right there. Because many, listen, look at this. Many people today don't worship the Lord with their tithes because they never saw it happen at home. in my people this to come. Alright. Can I get one was are we together? Mm -hmm. I want to stay here because I want I'm going somewhere. Never give out of coercion. Never give can you talk to your neighbor what we're saying? Never give out of coercion. Never give out of pressure. Never you know you know I've had no man of Hmm? I've had all manner of pressure. People being put on yeah, pressure yeah, when it comes yeah. to it. I've seen things. I mean, the years I've been in church, I've seen a number of things. One preacher stood up and he said, okay. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, and Sapphira, they were not killed by what they gave, they were killed by what they retained. Somebody's about to die. No. Don't do those kind of stuff. Tell your neighbor, don't do those kind of stuff. <laughs> the change is killing somebody here. No, no, no. That is not biblical. That's heresy. That's pressure. You are putting people under pressure. And it is wrong. <laughs> are we together? That is wrong. Tell your neighbor, that is wrong. Hallelujah. We don't give out of pressure. We don't give out of coercion. 
you don't do it because you've seen somebody else do it do it out of revelation insight and understanding are we together do it out of what you are not talking to me uh, under what grounds do we give tell your neighbor I have an understanding anything that you do that is it like let me say something else here never listen to any preacher without thinking anybody that wants you to pose your thinking to listen to them they are cultic they are not of God you should be able to have the liberty. The Bible says where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. You should be able to resonate with what I'm preaching. You should be like the Bereans who could reason with Paul as he taught. Are we together? You should resonate. There should be liberty for you to resonate with what I've preached with what I've taught and if you don't understand it you book an appointment or you call me aside and say man of God please put me on light on this matter are we together somebody say I have received liberation so the Bible says able also so that means someone else has been before him they have done their stuff but Abel is independent in his thinking and attitude. And mark you, he was watching what his brother was doing. Are we together? Are we together? So tell your neighbor, run your own race and run faithfully. Your neighbor is too familiar with you. Look for somebody who wants to be a blessing to you. Tell your neighbor, run your own race. And run it faithfully. Are we together? Abel also brought an offering of the firstborn of his flock of, the, of their fat. And the Lord respected Abel and his offering. Are we together? I want to show you something. The attitude that you should have when it comes to giving. What attitude? What kind of an offering? Another subtitle or other title you can still write is What kind of an offering does God receive? Because, ladies and gentlemen, in the year 2024, I don't want you to lose on this altar. And I don't want you to just do things because you've seen anybody do them. I want you to have an understanding, to have insight and revelation when it comes to doing things with God. Are we together? I said, are we together? Praise be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Whereby, Listen, you know, the, let me say this. There are people, if at any point they would find somewhere, themselves somewhere where it would be said, uh, no more giving, they would say hallelujah. Finally. Freedom is coming today. They would not even say freedom is coming tomorrow. They would say it has come. That means whatever you've been doing, you've been doing it in a religious way. You've been doing it because people do it, but you do not have wisdom. You do not have revelation. You do not have understanding in what you do. Are we together? One of the things you cannot stop me from doing is giving. Even when I go, like the other day I was in Zimbabwe, and they're giving in dollars. I made sure I have my own offerings in every service I stood to preach. And in dollar form. And I would translate it to the magnitude and the weight I carry, even in flag. Are we together? Because there is an offering I've put to myself. There is a revelation and a level I've walked with God. Listen, there is a level I've walked with God. There is an offering I can't give. 
Yeah, that's how much I've walked with God. That's that's my understanding. That's my revelation. Tuko pamoja. Oh yes. As to greet your neighbor, tell your neighbor, you need to walk with God. This thing, you need to grow in your walk with God. Let me tell you, and I'm saying this with a lot of humility, there is an offering I cannot give. I have walked with God. Even if I'm on an international corridor. Oh yes. Why? Because I've had a journey with God. There are things I know. And the knowledge that I have makes me to feel indebted with my, with my relationship. Are we together? So look at this. Abel also brought of the firstborn. The first thing that you need to see there is that word firstborn. He brought of the firstborn. The Hebrew word for that word firstborn is the word receive which means before anything else the highest level of priority with the highest regard you can write that down I don't need to follow the notes I'm the one who wrote the notes <laughs> glory to God Yeah, the Hebrew word is the word receipt it's more or less written the way you write receipt in English Receipt. It is the first. It is the same word that you find in Genesis chapter 1. In the beginning God. That word beginning in the first. The first thing. In birth. Beginning receipt. Birth receipt in Hebrew. Which means the first thing that God ever did. Oh you are cross checking. I thank God. If this is an era of Google. You can check cross check what I am teaching very important <laughs> are we together oh yes there is a version an application you can download in your app store version of android it's called the sword bible it, it gives you every some every every major word in scriptures it has an interpretation for it in the hebrew so you could cross check with that you can download that it's called the sword bible my sword bible so the same word that is there firstborn is the same word in genesis it in the hebrew you see scriptures were translated from the hebrew and greek so this was the first or interpretation which was in the hebrew abel the first thing that he did the prior before Abel did not just come to give. He gave with a certain attitude. Are we together? Tell your neighbor, God does not look at what you do with your hands first. God looks at your heart. Listen to me. Whatever your hands do is an overflow of your heart. Did you hear what I said? Whatever your hands do Tell, you tell your neighbor, if you are funny in your giving, if you are funny in your work with God, if you are behaving funny as you serve God, it's an overflow. It's actually a reflection of the condition of your heart. Are we together? Look at that. I like the New Living Translation. Abel brought what? A gift. The best. I like that. This one is taking it home very well. The best of the first born lamp from his flock hallelujah go back to the king james there are three f's in that verse the first f is the first is the order of priority hallelujah ask your god ask your neighbor where is god in your priority as you, as you. Let me, let me, can I take it home, down a bit. Let me, let me, can I tell you something? All the governments of the world, including the government of Kenya, those that work in the civil service, and even those in the private service, 
and even those that buy in the supermarkets, they don't trust you. So when it comes to giving, as before they pay you, they fast, take fast, they fast, sort themselves. Do, how many civil servants do you have? <laughs> they don't say, I'll pay you, then you pay us back the tax. We will give you the gross. They know you. Tell her. But look at how God is liberal with us. The government doesn't trust you. Even, in, even if you are not employed. Once you go to the supermarket, is it 16% the VAT? Or it's how much? 16%. Do they say, we will, Victor, we will sell to you, then you can pay us back the VAT. They fast. Where do they take it for? What word? <laughs> then God should be. That is, that one, in that description and in that example that I've just given you, it should answer those who ask, where do we tithe from? Do we tithe from the net or the gross? Where does the government tax you from? <laughs> Greet your neighbor, ask your neighbor, where does the government tax you from? Now, let me, can I drive this home? Why does the government tax you? To give you services. Why do you need to have God take what is his? Who is the beneficiary? If you pay your tax, you get good hospitals. Let's pray. Join the 24-7 prayers so that some things may now align properly in Kenya. Are we together? You get good what? Roads. You get what else? Security officers everywhere. Electricity. All of that. Now, in the order of tithing, it is the system that should sustain you. You'll get me after two weeks. Are we together? Now, I took all that time to explain fast. To talk about what? Fast. Tell your neighbor fast. Ah, your neighbor is not serious. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, God in 2024 wants to be fast. Bless God. Let me tell you the truth. Put God fast. Have an attitude of having God fast. And see how your life will turn around. In fact, and I'll say this and I have no apology for it, you are a reflection of where God is in your life. Ngalia jirani kidogo kutoka chini juu, mwambie si ubadilike 2024. Si ubiria mtu, nisaidia kuubiria jirani. Alright, the first is what? First, number two, F. Because I'm going to close. And these things will tell you your attitude. Are we together? Number two. Number two. Imagine, look at this. Before I go to number two. The government of Kenya does not trust you. Even the governments of the world. Yet God trusts you. It is you that is failing the trust. <laughs> and that is why Hebrews, not Hebrews, but Deuteronomy 28, verse 1, as is one of the verses that have that has never left my mind. Deuteronomy 28, verse 1. That scripture, I'm a preacher, but that scripture keeps me on check. Let's read it. Can you read like you are Holy Ghost filled? If how diligently do what? The voice of your God to observe. Can you read? Carefully 
all his commandments which I command you today that the Lord your God will set you on high above all nations. I pray that my order of priority will change my level of transaction. Ask your neighbor, greet your neighbor, ask your neighbor for me. Where do you want, how, what kind of a life do you want to live? Live alone. Not just, you know, when we talk about what kind of a life that you want to live, cheap minds think about this life only. Spiritual. Spiritual. Physical. Everything. What life do you want? Holistically. May the Lord help us. Somebody lift your hand and say, Father, help me. In 2024, I walk obedient before you. Now it shall come. So there is a condition. It is just waiting for you to align. You see what God will do. Hallelujah. Let's go back to Genesis chapter 4. Verse number 4. I want to close. Genesis 4. Now, let's read it again. New King James, please. Let's read. All right. Now, number 2F is flock. Number two F is flock. Number one is fast. Order of priority. Number two is flock. So God does not ask you to prioritize him from another man but from what you have. The source of your life. The source of your income. God will never demand of you what you don't have. From his flock. And it is important that I clarify this. That the Bible is written. Please give me your attention in a moment. The Bible is written in an Hebrew context. Everything you see written in the Bible was in a relationship, was in relationship, in relationship to a certain context of a certain culture. So the culture that contextualizes scripture is the Hebrew culture, which is an agricultural culture. That is why when you study the Gospels, you realize most of the examples that Jesus would give are of agriculture. The sower went to sow. The mustard, because that's the, agri the context and the culture that the Jews lived in and they would easily relate and understand. Are we getting what I'm saying? So, you hear about farmer, you hear about sowing, uh, who holds the plow and looks behind? Uh, do not muzzle an ox. Uh, uh, I am the vine. You are the branches. You bear fruit that remain. The mustard seed that grows and the birds of the air touch on it. Uh, I am the good shepherd. What agriculture, what kind of a culture is that? It's a, it's a culture that is contextualized on agriculture. So it's important that when he talks about the flock, you now understand where he is coming from. Are we together? So what is his source here? His flock. The New Living Translation now takes it home. New Living Translation says what? New Living Translation. Not TPT. 
New Living Translation. There, you have to go. Let's read. Abel also brought a gift. The best of the firstborn what? Flock. Are we together? Flock. Elisha was plowing with a 12 oxen. What is that? Agriculture. Are we together? So, he brought of his lambs. So, God does not, tell your neighbor this, God does not demand from you with, from what you don't have. He demands from what you have, what you do with your life. Are we together? Where does God demand from? The source. The source of your livelihood. The source of the livelihood of Abel was flocks. And it is important for you to take note of this. That Abel did not just go to the flocks and pick anything. He picked, number one, the first. And that takes me to the third F. The fat ones. The quality. Priority. What is the source? And what is the quality? I pray for you. That in 2024. You will not just do things. You do things with understanding. With revelation. With insight. Are we together? Yeah. And the Bible says, and the Lord respected Abel and his offering. The Lord respected. Put it in the TPT. It says, Yahweh was very pleased with Abel and accepted his offering. So, if God will accept your sacrifice, your offerings, it must be, number one, the first. Are we together? Number two, yours from you. This is why nikikopa mtu sadaka mimi umrudishia. Kwa maana ataendelea kubarikiwa. Sijatoa. It must be from you. God wants something that is from you. Now, let me surprise you. If you study scripture from Genesis through to Revelation, this verse places the order of all the givings that you will ever study in scripture that were accepted by God. This is the foundation upon which Noah in chapter 8 gave Isaac. In fact, can I can I just open a can of worms to have you think? The alabaster, the Pantora box. There is a theological jargon, and I don't have the time to get into that. I shall handle that another day. It's a theological debate that there could be probably a possibility that we have some species of animals that do not exist today. Because Noah had in the ark a male and a female. Yet he took and sacrificed. So, where is that? If he sacrificed the female, we the theological debate is that they will say he sacrificed the male and probably the female was expected. It's a debate. I don't want us to get into that. But I want to show you, listen, I want to show you, that's a theological debate. 
But I want to show you that when it comes to sacrifice, even when Noah was doing it after the 150 days and the ark landed at Mount Ararat, when he raised the altar and he sacrificed, it costed nature. Because he took the only. Now, let's go to Genesis. You find Abraham. Look at the kind of sacrifices he was giving. At the stretch of it all. Let me close with this. At the stretch of it all. Get this. If you've not gotten anything that I've preached this evening. At the stretch of it all. When it came to Abraham sacrificing in Genesis 22. Look at this ladies and gentlemen. In Genesis 22. The Bible says that he was giving his son. At some point, his son asked him, Papa, we are firewood and we have the knife. But where? Kama ujawai beba sadaka inaongea. Umawai beba offering, unasikia sijalipa rent. Unasikia, nimebeba na sina food. Iyo ni sadaka inakuliza kisu ukonayo. Uambia jirani kama hija wai ongea bado ujaanza kutolea mungu. Yes. Nani alikuwa na ongea hapa? Papa. We have what? And we have what? Uh -huh. Nani anaongea hapa? Kama uja wai ongeleswa na sadaka. Ukiwa maibeba hivi, unasikia landlord, unasikia mwezi chakula, unasikia nakuta kuwaje, au jaanza. Hebu salimia jirani mauliza, umawe ongelesho na sadaka. Kama ijawai kuongelesha, umetoa yote mwezi utaishi aje. Iyo ni sadaka inakuangelesha. Amen? Haya. Amen. Amen. We can celebrate better than that. Have we got a point? Yes, we give that which is which is fast which is from you which is yours na ukipewa unarudisha and which is fat sindio which is quality amen so let's now give our offerings in the name of the lord jesus i'm sure the series will continue to the glory of god amen just speak your offering and let's give let's give in the name of jesus amen and amen just pick your offering them that are watching us there's a pay bill that you can give your offering as well the pay bill is triple two one 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 the account number is triple four five eight five thank you for watching and god bless you thank you